No, no. Stand with me. Come on, man. So what? people can see you're still alive. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, welcome back to Airbus of USA in conjunction with Pelagons.com. We are here at our local range today. We um, are fortunate to have our 2-2 long rifles, which are firearms. You need your license in South Africa to buy these. So we are basically going to do a video, an unboxing of our 2-2 long rifles from Hudson Escort all the way from Turkey. So we'll see you just now. What you, what you got to say to them? Huh? Yeah, welcome everybody. Mm. Uh, we're going to do a range session. So guys check it out on the video and yeah enjoy we'll see you now all right so we've got the tutu escort here and this model that we got today is the escort tutu laminate marine so all of them come in the same box so it is actually a cardboard box so we're going to open it up and you guys can see what comes inside of it so you'll see it's packaged quite nice with some styrofoam so that it can't get damaged you'll have a little boxy here um, basically where you got your five and ten shot magazine inside of it and then obviously your bolt because this is a firearm and it needs a bolt rim fire to actually set off the ammunition so basically let's put that back in the box then you can also see we've got our manual instruction manual as guys here in South Africa we never ever ever read these things but if you need to when something goes wrong this is the best place to start start with these please and then have a look at that so there's your man and after that we're gonna take out the star of the show very nicely packaged Wow, guys, this looks beautiful. It's not loaded, so guys, please don't uh, comment and say I'm handling a dangerous firearm. It's not loaded. As you can see, the bolt's not in. Magazine is in, but there's no bullets whatsoever, even in the barrel. So always be conscious about that. So this is the 10-shot round magazine that I put in the box. As you can have a look at that, look at this beautiful stock that it comes in very nice it's got the marine they call this the marine style we've got numerous um, models available which i'll show you just now it's got its safety on the bolt action here you can adjust the trigger as you can have a look at it there um, there's numerous other brands out there that you can't even adjust the trigger and it is four times the price of this and talking about the prices and links, just look down below. You'll find all the pricing and links downstairs there. But anyway, let's go further. It's got a cheek piece that you can adjust up and down. You can adjust your um, buttstock here at the back a little bit for whichever angle you need. Sling swivel studs if you wish to have it as a hunting rifle and put it on a sling and walk around with it. And it's pretty light. It's 2.1 kgs unscoped. Then if we go a bit more forward, uh, you've got your half inch unf thread guys look at that so you can put on a silencer or oh, it's just got its normal deflector in the front it's got dovetail rails on the top here so make sure if you want to put on a scope like as we did today we'll show you the different model that we've got there that we've got our scopes and things set um, obviously just get yourself dovetail rails or you can just get those picatinny to dovetail adapters if you've got Picatinny adapters, uh, scope mounts. So have a look at this. We brought them in with the open sight, so you don't necessarily need to go and buy yourself a scope and put it on. You can just wing it like this, old school shooting. So basically what we'll do now is we'll do a 50 meter grouping um, with whatever um, ammunition is gonna work. So we've got the RWS um, models available for the ammunition. So let me get that for you. So this is the type of ammo we've got here. It's going to be the target rifle. Uh, yeah, target rifle, special match. We've got the Gecko, 2-2 semi-auto, and then we've got the rifle match. This is all in RWS. So basically this is premium brand ammunition, 
why we brought all these out here today is not every rifle will perform the same some of them will work with a special match some of them will work with a gecko it all depends on the rifle's barrel so you're going to have to test them all out you can't just shoot one and think it's accurate no it's not you need to find the one that works and we'll show you how we'll do that today but basically we've got the wooden version one have a look at that guys very beautiful very beautiful also not loaded at all so these things have been checked thoroughly before we started making this video and then have a look at this one this one is very 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 beautiful guys you can have a look at that it's just different configuration with the wood stocks and the actions and so forth meaning with the color so today we have got our synthetic stock one on the bench but we have taken off the stock um, as you can have a look at this with the synthetic stock you can put in your magazines in the back here if you can have a look that is a nice storage place so you can use this as a bucky gun throw it in the back get it scratched and so on you won't cry and it's got a picatinny rail at the bottom so that's a very very nice feature with a synthetic stock but i just want to quickly show you so with the synthetic stock one just loosen that there and then we can just zoom in there and you can have a look how that looks at the moment looks pretty cool doesn't it so what we have done right here now we've put the bravo 0.22 chassis on um, this is our prs or target shooting rifle um, configuration with the stock we've just installed the synthetic action and barrel into this um, uh, this uh, aluminium bravo stock for the 0.22 so it's got a lot of adjustments that you can tune and so forth for your type of shooting it's got a thumb rest on both sides so if you're right or left you can have it there it's got a 90 degree um, grip on it which is quite nice for the target shooters and so forth and you can also put weights and it comes with a picatinny rail in the front here so that you can put on a bipod as like we did today so we've got the more cool scope thank you julian these more cool scopes are flipping fantastic it's a 5 to 35 by 56 and it's going to be our choice of scope to use today we're going to see what it can and how it looks downrange so we'll chat now let's do a 50 meter grouping and then we'll stretch it out to 100 see you now bye all right guys i'm here at the bench i'm gonna shoot five shot groupings with a special match ammo that's the one that works here for us today um, basically i'm just gonna load five rounds as you can see here i'm gonna get my uh, camera equipment started so you guys can have a look and see how it performs so just to give you a little bit of more info on um, you know when we were shooting with it so I basically um, you know feel the trigger how it breaks it breaks like glass um, and then also the loading action so the loading action is also pretty smooth um, for a 22 LR I'm very very happy and excited to see what it can do so we roughly set it in at 50 meters so we're gonna go for it now so let's see what I can come up with so everything is started that started that started so let's go for it so let's see what I can come up with guys let me just get it all focused in for you get everything on the ground perfect let's go for it five shot grouping You know what, guys, it's silly accurate. <laughs> Have a look at that. And you know what, guys, this thing is like an air gun. Seriously, it is. It's just cleaning up there in the middle, except for that one flyer, but what can you get? This is really, really good. Guys, it's just printing like, just splattering all the paint off that gong. 
so i think this is no no joke for it i mean it's very close let's go out to 100 and let's see what it can do um for a firearm remember you do have a little bit of variances with powder and so forth but look we just took out this gun put it in the stock just sighted it in barrel wasn't even clean nothing and we just threw these bullets down range and look at that that is pretty pretty darn cool especially for the price tag that you can get these air guns in um i mean this platform here i don't want to name it over the you know youtube because it will probably be there for many years to come not um, it's not an air gun and um, basically um, you can actually see the price for this barrel and action and this um, prs stock uh, precision marksman stock and so forth really really it will hit the buttons i mean very cheap um, some of the air guns out there are very expensive whereas this as a firearm in south africa is way cheaper i mean the only problem that we've got here in south africa is just the licensing part but uh yeah if you can get that out of the way this is very very cheap i mean even for the tutu ammunition yes things are getting expensive but even bread my guys milk whatever so if you love shooting this is the way to go in and especially for the guys that would like to just start off with firearms and so forth to shoot around there at the farms and so forth for the price you'd rather go for this you know for the little um well not little kids but yeah they, you can also teach them how to shoot this before they go to the bigger guns and hunt and so forth so it's a really good um, choice to go for i mean especially for the price that you pay but anyway let's do a hundred meter grouping and let's check what it can do all right so we got everything set up um i'm gonna try the target rifles uh we shot more or less uh grouping but as you can see the wind down range i don't know if you can see our flag you can see it there it does affect it at that distance but we're gonna shoot a grouping and then after that we're gonna see what we can do with a 2-2 long rifle at 300 meters so wish us luck guys wish us luck so everything is started everything is rolling and uh yeah let's go for it pretty keen all right range is all good everything is started this side that side let's go for it as you guys can see that wind flag down there the, the wind is coming from the left to the right so i'm just going to aim dead on and just see where they fall and basically from there onwards we can maybe just see how it goes so as you guys could see there it landed right on top so you'll see the winds died down So as you can see where it will land because of the wind conditions. So if you wait for the wind conditions to be the exact same as you can see there they'll land all on top of each other. So I'm just waiting and then when it gives me the go ahead I'll go for it again because that there is going to throw it on a different place. It's always a waiting game, guys. Okay, I'm just going to let it sing. As you can see there, waited for the right time. And it was all 
on the same place so if you can see there's about four shots and there's the first one that I shot so it's quite high because of the wind and now check so it's very crucial to see how the wind will react so pretty good let's go and see what we can do at a 300 meters guys bad boy all right guys I'm gonna start this camera so you can actually see 300 meters is no joke it's quite far look at that okay this camera can't zoom in that well but hopefully this does its justice so I've got those um, <clears throat> these target rifles in and uh, let's see what it can do so I'm sighting it in quick guys so it's landing a little bit left as you could see so it's the first time I'm sighting it in got the holdovers right but um, the sighting in I must check now There we go. If you can have a look at that, that is bottom left. Go a little bit left. Let's see what I can do. So that's one on the gong. There we go. It's getting in line. I just need to sight it in. So you guys can actually see what we do to sight it in. It's quite far. The Mirage is playing a game with us. So let's see if I can get it into the center middle there. Just aim a little bit higher. As you can see, that was close to it. So I'm just going to use holdovers for now and just wing it. just to the bottom so that's it guys um, 300 meters yeah we've got a couple of hits not all of them 100% but uh, yeah we'll check now all right so our final thoughts so we spent uh, a day out here at the range uh, shooting uh, different distances look let's be honest 300 meters with a 2-2 long rifle standard as this it's not a competition target rifle um, the thing is you can use it as that but you're going to have to choose the right ammo for it and know how to read the wind as you could see how it was sending these 40 grainers about 1115 feet per second and uh, we could hit that uh, it's a call it a fire it's what a, C, a 12 inch gong yeah it is uh, 30 centimeters in you know diameter so it's quite nice to see that you can hit something at that distance with a 2-2 long rifle i mean there's not a lot of guys that try and attempt that because uh, on the prs i think they go all the way up to 240 meters in south africa just off different obstacles and so forth um, i'll definitely use this one on there uh, with these um, more cool scope which helped us shoot down range but as you could see through the scope camera footage the mirage was a big factor here for us today as well as the wind so the cocking mechanism I've checked the, the bolt action actually works really well uh, we didn't have any jams today it was throwing out the um, cartridges you would get the obvious one that doesn't want to fling out fast because I didn't cock it or, or take the bolt fast enough to the back so it doesn't eject it so it's also my point uh, that I need to just check because if you do it too slow then they actually tend to get stuck in the, well not in the chamber but it's just going to lay there by the magazine side so you need to flick it back it will eject it quite far away so it is pretty awesome to use trigger for me was one of the most awesomest triggers that you could feel out there safety is very audible on the side and um, yeah, the guy just said the range is uh, closed now. He's going to shoot. But anyway, we are out of harm's way. We're just showing you guys that, you know, the final thoughts. So I really liked it in this uh, chassis. You can shoot it in the normal synthetic stock, which this one came in. And it would also do the same job. It's just all depending on budget here in South Africa. So this is a very affordable budget 0.22 
alloy to get into whichever sport you want to get into target shooting um, shooting ground squirrels or your pigeons or whatever you're going to shoot um, plinking uh, gongs at different distances or even shooting prs so it's all up to you um, more to that i don't know peter do you want to say anything to them yeah i think uh, you're mistaken when you say it's an entry level it's entry level price. Yeah, it's price. Definitely not yeah. entry level quality. No. Um, it's called the Escort. Um, it escorted us to the Ranger today. I'm sure there's going to be a few jokes regarding that name <laughs> as well out there. Yeah. But um, I've seen uh, and spoken to a couple of guys that have got the. Uh, I'm not going to mention brand names now, um, but this is styled off a very famous action um, and. Um, that action has been discontinued and I've had guys complain about their famous brand as far as accuracy, a trigger pull is concerned and so mm. forth. Um, so don't make the mistake when he says entry level. <laughs> yeah. I think you're making a big mistake. Entry level in price. I've also got my own Tutu LR, a different brand and uh, I can tell you honestly it doesn't even come close to something like this. Yeah. Um, and then all the added features, the guys that insist having um, uh, open sights, this Truglo style open sights, threaded barrel. In this price bracket, honestly, there's absolutely nothing out in South Africa. Um, he was touching on the price, price of ammunition for bigger calibers firearms. I think this is where the 22 LRs are coming, uh, uh, starting to uh, open up a new field for guys because of the cost of ammunition it's a lot cheaper a lot cheaper to shoot than the larger calibers and i think that's where uh, the niche in the market is is going to be found with this product yeah so before we carry on bolt is going to be open to show you that it's empty just want to show you close up how this whole setup looks like if you can have a look at that guys very very clean very sleek and um, basically have a look at our scope mounts that we got on it's the teagle scope mounts you can adjust your moa if needed be and we've got the lovely more cool ed 5235 by 56 zero stop scope so everything works flipping fantastic and have a look at that guys with these eagle vision mounts we've got the bubble level that you can screw on on the side here or you can remove it which Ever way you want to go and have a look at that guys you can put it in the top or you can put it in the bottom but yeah thanks for watching guys if you like this um, video please like share and subscribe remember to hit the notification bell, uh, bell downstairs so whenever I do upload a new video it will then remind you that there's a new video that we posted so you don't ask me when's the new video coming up it will remind you but anyway coming, cheers for now coming soon next video keep an eye out uh, yeah we're gonna be launching our troll nine millimeter parabellum pistols that'll be coming up in the next video as well as the shotguns we'll also do videos on those and our 223 uh, semi-automatics plus our 22 palace long rifles how do you like that guys but coming in the future see you later enjoy